Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Listen, I want to jump in and share a few nuggets, nuggets with you on how you can start growing the revenue in your business today. We have been on this series of niche marketing and I've been sharing different benefits with you on how narrowing your niche in your business is going to grow your revenue, right? So we've talked about how narrowing your niche will increase visibility. It creates different relationships and partnerships with your clients. It offers a substantial referral opportunity for you to get more clients. There are just so many different ways that narrowing your niche or becoming niche focused in your business will help you not only as a coach, but as a creative. Listen, if you're a coach and you are out here making things happen, changing the game, solving problems, make sure that you are clear on the exact problem that you're called to solve in your coaching business. Understand that there is a difference between the service that you provide and the problem that you solve. Okay, there is a difference between the service that you offer and the problem that you solve in your coaching business. And I want you to make sure that as you are presenting your services to your audience, as you're presenting your services to your ideal client, that you're clear on the differences between the service and the problem. Understand that your service is a vehicle, right? The service is the vehicle. It's the solution for the problem that your client is having. But do you know how to not only identify the problem that they're suffering or having, and not only do you know how to identify it, but do you know how to speak directly to the problem that your ideal client is having. So listen, let me share a few ways for you to go ahead and start growing your business, your revenue today. If this is the first time that you've joined me, know that we've been talking about niche marketing for the past several days. So do me a favor and uh, check out some of the videos that I've done already. Share this broadcast. Comment below. I want to know who you are. I want to know what you do. I want to know what problem you solve. And I want to know what service you provide. Listen, if you're still trying to figure out the difference between the two, don't worry. I'm going to make sure that I help walk you through um, answering those questions for you on your business. Cool. So do me a favor. Share who you are. I would love to connect with you at this time just so that we can get better acquainted with one another. If this is your first time checking me out, I am your vision coach Latoya Early. I help you identify, I help coaches and creatives identify their blind spots. I help narrow your niche and I help you create multiple streams of income through business development and lifestyle transformation. I am the vision coach that is going to help you through the process. Listen, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're a coach, if you're a service provider and you are in a place in your business where you've been able to generate income, where you understand what service you provide, but you're finding yourself stuck, you're finding yourself in a place where you're trying to push through and get to that next level in business, um, get to that new financial goal in business, reach that new financial goal in business, I'm the coach that's going to sit with you, walk with you through the process and find out where are some of the blind spots in your business that we can help you so that you can remove some of the barriers and remove some of the, the things or the obstacles that could be stopping you from getting to your next level in business, right? So again, I want to share with you a few strategies on growing your revenue today. Number one, the first thing that you need to do if you are ready to grow your revenue in your business, if you're looking to speak to a different audience. Now, remember, as you grow and as you develop in your business, your audience changes. OK, in the beginning, when you first started your business, you had a particular audience. Right. I know I did. I had a certain audience. I had a certain I had certain people who would sign up for my services. I had certain people who will work with me. I had a particular audience. As I grew in my business, as I grew and I became more confident in what I offered as a coach, as my price points changes, guess what? My audience evolved as well. And so I want to help you get to that next level in your business by helping you really identify, hey, Crystal, really identify your ideal client. Now, I'm not a big, I'm not really big on teaching about target audiences. And the reason is because I believe that if you can create an audience full of your ideal clients, then it's a win-win situation, right? So we're talking about different ways that you can grow your revenue right now in business. Number one is change the way you think about your service, 
Remember, your service and the problem that you solve are not the same thing. Once you transition or shift your focus from looking at the service, because that's the skill, that's what you do, right? But let's look at it this way. There are many different people in your industry that have the same skill as you. Now, we know that your skill is good. It's amazing. You know how to sharpen your skill. You've worked on your skill. But some of our skills are pretty similar when it comes to certain industries. What makes you stand apart is the problem that you solve through your skill, right? So number one, you want to change the way you're looking at your service. Your service and the problem that you solve is not the same thing. So if you start to focus on the problem that you solve in your business with your clients, then guess what? You're going to begin to attract a different type of client. You're going to begin to speak directly to an ideal client and it is going to position you where you don't have to compromise your prices anymore. You don't have to feel like you can't offer your the rate or your service at the rate that you desire because now you're talking to the exact person you know have this exact problem. Yes, that is true. The audience does change as the business changes. Absolutely. As you grow in your business, listen, when you start out in business, when you, you know, first getting your feet wet, how many of us was like, listen, I serve anybody, everybody, whoever wanted, I'm here, right? But the more you grow in your business, the more seasoned you become in your business, then you'll begin to realize that you are an acquired taste and your business is not for everyone. Your service can serve anyone because it's a service, it's a skill, but the problem that you solve is what makes you different in your business. So if we're talking about growing your business right now, if you're going to say, LaToya, we are midway in second quarter. How can I reach my financial goals in first quarter? How can I grow my email list? How can I reach the people that I want to reach? How can I sit in front of my ideal client? Not just any client, not just anybody who will pay you. I'm talking about sitting in front of the client who's going to do the work, who's going to apply the strategies, who who's going to make the, the changes appropriately and who's going to work with you and not expect for you to do all the work. How can I sit in front of that person? Number one, change the way you're thinking about your service. That's hands down. Know that again, your service is the skill. It's the vehicle. It's the solution. That's what you are exchanging the service for profit. That's what people are paying you for. But what about the experience, right? What is the problem that you're solving through your service? What's the problem that you're solving? Understand that once you identify the problem that you solve, then here's where the game changes. Why? Because now I'm trying to help you change a lifestyle versus just changing a moment. I'm helping you change your mindset versus just changing the moment, right? So we're talking about change the way you think about your service. Know that there's a difference between your services and the problem that you solve in your business. Number two, determine what your service do for your client. You got to determine if I'm a coach, if I'm a service provider, if I help people publish books, if I, you know, help people uh, move, remove limits off their lives so that they can live in purpose or build their money or whatever it is that you say that you do, how I need you to determine what service, what your service do for your client. What is your service going to do for them? Is it going to change their mindset or is it going to change their moment? Is it going to be a temporary fix or is it going to be a long-term change? Is it going to be something that they can go Google and do it themselves and figure it out? Or do you have a certain unique gift or a certain unique way of delivering and speaking directly to the problem that you solve where they can't go and look out and find this solution anywhere else? right? We are, we live in a generation or an era where everybody wants to Google answers. Well, some things aren't Googleable, <laughs> if that's a word, right? Some things you just can't Google. And so you want to determine what your service will do for your ideal client. What will it do? Sit down and write out 20 things. What will my service do for my ideal client? Remember, we're talking about how can I grow my money now? How can I grow my revenue in my business today? Number one, we talked about changing the way you look at your services. Change the way you think about your services. Change the way you're talking about your services. Number two, determine what your service do for your client. Why should your client come to you? Do you know how many tax preparers we have? Do you know how many TurboTax commercials I saw last night on um, during the Super Bowl? 
TurboTax told me I can do my taxes myself. So you need to tell me what problem do you solve for me? Because convenience is not always the problem that I have. Right. So while you're sitting and you are pulling together services and you're launching your programs and you're looking to connect with new people and you're looking to grow your clients, you need to decide what is my service going to do for someone that's going to make me stand out from anyone else in my industry. Because what you offer is unique. What you have is amazing, but there's something deeper than that. Right. When you're talking to your ideal client, we have two we have two types of clients, right? So when you're talking about your ideal client, most of us, we've been in business for a while now, so we know the demographics of our ideal client. We know how old they are. We know their salary. We know their hobby. We know what they do for a living. You know, that type of stuff. But now let's kind of remove some of those layers. Have we yet identified the current problems that our ideal client is experiencing? Right. Not just that, but are you able to speak to your ideal client when they're suffering in silence? What about the ideal client who's too embarrassed to even share or even recognize that they even have an issue? Right. What about the, the coach or the creative who's not getting the coaches or the, the clients in their programs? They're not reaching their revenue goals. They're not reaching the audience that, that they desire. And it's because they haven't sat down to really work on their niche, really work on the problems that they solve as a coach. But yet they don't want to tell anyone because they're too embarrassed because they look like they have it all together. Listen, I'm not just talking about y'all. That was me, too. Right. And so that's the type of client that suffers in silence because that client doesn't say out loud, hey, I have a problem. But how do you know how to speak to that client so that that client gravitates to you and will come and purchase your your services at whatever price or whatever rate you have, regardless of the cost? Right. So you have to determine what your services will do for your client. And then lastly, you need to determine who needs what your service does and not just the service. You have to decide what, do, what does my service do and then who needs what it does and not just the service, right? You need to determine what do my ideal client, why do they need me? What makes me so unique? If you're a hairstylist, if you're a graphic designer, if you're a web developer, if you're a coach, why do your ideal client need you? And what do your ideal client look like? Again, I'm not talking about the avatar, right? We've done that. We've done the avatar. And if you have it, it's okay. It's okay. That's still something that we have to work through. You got to sit down. I teach my coaches in the community about the ABC identity chart. You're going through A, B, A through Z of what your client looks like, the demographics of your client, how, what kind of kids. I'm talking about the mama of the client, all type of stuff. You want to dig into the client, but there's a couple more layers in identifying your client that you want to make sure that you're aware of. Why? Because again, your service may be Googleable. Somebody may be able to Google how to do what you do. But what makes you different? What makes you stand out differently in the industry? Why would someone want to come to you to solve their problem? Again, we're talking about growing your revenue. So I want you to become crystal clear on the exact problem that you solve. Whose problem that you solve? How are you solving their problem? And then sharpening up your message so that you're speaking directly to that ideal client. Talk to the ideal client who's loud about their issues and then talk to their client, talk to the ideal client who's silent about their issues. I was the client that was silent and my coach was able to, to speak certain languages to pull me into the program to say, yes, I need you. Are you able to do that for your ideal client? Was pricing an issue? Absolutely not. Because I heard me in her messaging and she was talking directly to me. So now my question to you is when you're creating your programs, when you're creating your services, do you know the difference between the service that you provide and the problem that you solve? Are you speaking directly to the problem or are you always sharing the services that you have? Especially as coaches, we can only talk about how much we coach. You know, like what more do we have? 
Let's dig a little deeper. So listen, this is what I'm doing for my coaches and my creatives. I'm offering a three-day intensive at the end of this week. And I want to help you narrow your niche and grow your revenue. I am going to help you decipher or determine the difference between your service and the problem that you saw. Then I want to help you dig a little deeper. And how can we speak directly to your ideal client so that, number one, we're not compromising our prices. How many of us are compromising our prices? We're afraid to share our prices. We're afraid to increase our prices. Some of us are afraid to even narrow our niche and be specific because we don't think that we're going to generate the income that we desire. But how many of us know that the more narrow you become, understand the more narrow you become you're in your business, the more magnetic your ideal client becomes to your solution. Right. So with you narrowing your niche and being focused on the problem versus the service, it now puts you in a different area. And now remember um, a few videos back, I talked about being a big fish in a little pond. When you first start your business, especially as a coach, you're a little fish <laughs> in a big pond. How can we transform you from a little fish in a big pond to a big fish in a little pond? We got to get specific. We have to get specific. We got to dig all the way down so that your ideal client can say, I'm willing to pay you $5,000 because I know that you can help solve my problem. Understand that our clients are waiting on us, right? Your client is waiting on you. Our clients are waiting on us. Why? Because our clients are attracted to the solution to their pain, not the services that we offer. So think about it. If you're doing this commercial about this foot that's hurting, you didn't have to do that. If you're doing this commercial about your foot hurting and you, or I'm sorry, you have your foot that's hurting and you see a commercial that's talking about that exact pain, regardless of how much does it cost, regardless, you're gonna pick up the phone and dial the number, right? So let's create those same desires in your company as a service provider and as a coach. Join me for my three-day intensive. I'm gonna put the link in the comments. I'm gonna put it in the caption. We are going to take three intensive days and rock completely out. I want you to change the way you're approaching your business. Let's stop talking about the service and let's start talking about the problem. When you identify the problem, the people will come. Cool. If there's any questions, let's let's talk for a minute. I got to go pick up kids. It is 2:30 already. Time to go get kids from school. But I wanted to jump on and share my nuggets with you today because this three-day intensive at the end of the week is going to change the game for some of my business owners, for some of my coaches, and some of my service providers. You're wondering, why am I running in circles? I've paid into programs. I've hired coaches. I know some of you have already worked with coaches. What makes this program different is that my approach is different for number one. My understanding about business and problem solving is different. And because God has shown me not only in my own business but in the coaches that I work with the 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 way to get the ideal client to pay you at the uh at the investment that you desire and the ideal client that's going to apply the work to their lives so that they too can see change Listen, let's connect. Let's make it happen. Let's work. I love you guys. I'll put the link in the comments. Make sure you share this broadcast. There's someone who is waiting on some content to help them move forward in their business. They're wondering, why am I running around in circles? Why do I feel like I'm, I've hit a glass ceiling? Why can't I grow? And I'm telling you, you're not growing because you're focusing too much on the service and not enough on the problem. Love you guys. Be blessed.